All right, guys, I'm back. So this video will be focusing on um, my mobile ordering. So if I go to the center um, icon, the circle with the plus sign down at the bottom, uh, and I click on that, that's going to bring up its own menu. And you can see listed is check dining availability. We'll talk about that in a later video. Um, and then you can see order food. So that's what we're going to focus on today, ordering food. So I'm going to click on that. And then what it's going to do is bring up every place that I can mobile order food. You can see Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, Disney Springs, and then there's also our hotel, All-Star Music Resort. So I'm gonna start with that one first. Um, we are in a value um, hotel room, um, but Disney, obviously their value and the rest of the world value hotels are completely different <laughs> um, because it still costs a lot of money. Um, but they do have a food court. court. Um, the All-Stars do not have a restaurant like a, where a waiter comes and takes your order and some world-class chef is in the back making your food. This is a, a food court. But they do have some good choices here, and that's what we're going to go through first so that you can get an idea of the cost. So I'm going to click on that. Um, I'm just going to hit View Menu. Um, because a little bit later on, I'll explain the time windows and all that stuff. So um, they do have breakfast. Um, at the resorts, they have, uh, it's a souvenir, souvenir refillable mug. And those mugs are $22 per person, $21.99. Um, the good thing about it is that it is refillable. So you can refill it as much as you want in any resort that you're in. Um, they don't really let you refill it in the parks. However, some restaurants will allow guests to refill their mug if they have the drink station out and available for people. Um, especially if you bought a drink and it's re free refills, they, have, they don't really have a problem with you actually refilling your mug. All right, um, moving on, but it can add up based on, on which, who's in your party. So you have to kind of weigh it out. Um, drinks are about four, five bucks, maybe a little bit less. Um, so, um, but you have to figure that cost out. If we're there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you eat in the food court every evening and get a soda, you know, that could be $20 right there, um, and you can get more drinks than just the one time. So it's up to you. All right. So this is the menu. I'm just going to scroll through it. Obviously, pause the video if you really would like to read through. Um, they do have plant-based options for breakfast as well. Uh, so I'm just going to keep scrolling down. There are a lot of choices here because... It is a big food court, um, and they try to cover a wide um, selection of food um, so that everybody has something to pick from. Um, there, there are not room. There are no microwaves in the room. Um, you in the rooms. You will have a small, like mini fridge but it's more of like a beverage cooler and not a fridge. It doesn't really get cold, cold. So you won't be able to freeze anything. There's no, there's nothing like that. It's just a, like a mini beverage cooler. Um, so yeah, there you go. There's everything, all the juices, all the milks. Um, I wanna say they should go into allergy-friendly menus, yeah. So they'll have their gluten, um, allergy menu, shellfish, egg, tree nut, any kind of allergy, they'll list it if they have it. All right, lunch and dinner. Um, same thing, there's a refillable mug. Um, and again, pause 
to really read because I know I'm scrolling through this fast. But I want you to get an idea of the cost um, so that you can, can budget appropriately. And clearly this is not the only place to eat. <laughs> um, we're not breakfast people. So an orange banana kind of is what we use and then by lunch we we actually eat eat but I know there are breakfast people so you know definitely go back and look at the breakfast menu all right so that's that at um our hotel resort um all right so now I'm going to go into Magic Kingdom um Magic Kingdom has the most uh mobile order, mobile ordering locations available. Please also understand that these are not the only places you can get food. They are just the only places in which you can um, mobile order. So Casey's Corner, um, it's hot dogs. You can see it's anywhere from 10 to $14, a little more than 14 has two plant-based options. Um, fountain break, uh, drinks are about $5. I've eaten here a long time ago. The hot dogs are good. Um, the only thing I don't like about this location is that it is outside and it's hot. It's hot outside. <laughs> um, some of my favorites that I recommend are Columbia Harbor House. That's kind of like your uh, seafood, um, New England type um, food. So salmon, uh, you'll get a lobster roll. The lobster roll is small, but it is good. Oops. Um, the salmon is good. I get the trio platter a lot. Um, so you can get an idea again, pause to really look at it. It goes into beverages. Those are always going to be the same. Um, Columbia Harbor house is air conditioned and there are two, uh, floors in which to sit so you have lots of places to choose from um, it still gets crowded um, then you have cosmic rays also air conditioned that's your burger and fries nothing there is more than $13 um, and then you also have Pecos Bill which is air conditioned and that is Tex-Mex uh, price point for that mm, let me pull that up so I guess nothing more than $16. There you go. Again, pause to really read through. Now, I do want to talk about the times. So if you are at the parks and you know that you want to eat between 2.15 and 2.45, you would click that as your arrival window and then from there, you would be able to, to place your order for your food. So um, these, I obviously show you pictures so you can get an idea of what the food looks like. Yummy, yummy. There it all, there, I can't talk, there it is. <laughs> um, but basically you would let them know in the app that you have arrived at the location. A lot of times I say I arrive when I'm walking there. So that way, by the time I get there, my food is up and then they will let you know within five minutes, whether or not your food is up and ready. And they will tell you which aisle or bay to go to. And you show the cast member your order number, bada boom, bada bing you are now able to um, you're now able to pick up your food okay um, so that's that for Magic Kingdom oops I didn't mean to go all the way out um, we do have the same thing for Animal Kingdom uh, my favorite is Satuli Canteen I think the most expensive thing there is about $19, uh, but there are other choices where uh, lunch could be right around 13 I really enjoy the uh, wood grill chicken bowl, and you can kind of customize it. It's $13, 12 
Um, so what I like about it is air conditioned and uh, the food actually comes in plateware. So it's not paper plates. Um, I don't know. I appreciate that. Uh, but the bowls are really good and they're filling without them being heavy, if that makes sense. Um, let's see. Flame Tree Barbecue is exactly what it sounds like. Um, it's a barbecue place. Um, Hollywood Studios. Air conditioned um, location is ABC Commissary. Uh, Backlot Lot Express. Um, I want to say Docking Bay 7 is also um, air-conditioned. Um, Woody's Lunchbox is not, but it is super cute. You're outside. And they do have a sit-down restaurant now that just recently opened. Uh, but there you go. You know, you can mobile order. It saves you time, and time is money when you're in Disney. Um, it will be crowded. It will be hot. And so those moments where you can enjoy a meal um, in air conditioning are priceless. Um, so there you go. I'm going to stop this video and then the next one is going to talk about actual restaurant reservations. Oh, really quickly, like I said, please note that um, these mobile order restaurants are not the only place you can get food from. Um, for example, in Magic Kingdom, we always go get our Pineapple Dole Whip. Um, it is not a mobile app uh, order uh, restaurant. And so you have to walk up, stay, stay in the line, and get your wonderful Pineapple Dole Whip treat. Um, and there's lots of other places around Magic Kingdom that are also like that. So this just saves time um, and stress of standing in line, especially when people start getting cranky because they're hot and hungry.